once again, my subscribers. Now, this is a video that I never really thought that I would end up making. So, yeah, the reason I'm making this, as you see in the title, is that I have finally reached 50 subscribers. While this may not seem like a large feat compared to some of the other much bigger YouTubers um, than myself, uh, it is a big milestone for myself because I started, actually began the channel itself, NDP Games, uh, five years ago when I was still in high school. Uh, originally, I did it to um, post a video game reviews and I would watch Whitey the Reviewer, who's an awesome reviewer, now under the name of Ultimate Chance, and watch him if you don't do it right now. Uh, I watched his his videos a lot, um, and so I wanted to make some of my own. Um, and so, uh, with <laughs> my PlayStation 3, my brother and I had this little iCam thing uh, that I would be able to um, film with while playing a video game, and so I could like, film and talk as I'm playing a game. I couldn't really edit the footage, though, because I didn't really know how to edit at that time. Um, so the videos were not good at all. Um, it's basically me filming the TV uh, and me talking about the game as I was playing it. It really didn't work out too well. I did a review on Oblivion, I did one on uh, Two Human, and I did one on Gears of War. Weren't very good, and I stopped after Two Human because it just wasn't working out. And so for uh, like two years, two or three years, all I used the channel for was my own personal viewing and commenting and all that stuff uh, of other people's channels and um, as a spot to upload videos for school projects and whatnot. So as you see in like the earliest uploaded videos, you see how not to waste a Saturday afternoon. I think that's what it is. There's two versions that we ended up doing. Uh, that was in my sophomore year of high school. I'm much, I look much younger in case you can't tell. And then uh, the one after that, which is a uh, prisoner's dilemma, I made my senior year for my AP economics class. That one was one that my brother uh, taught me how to edit on, and I use I used uh, Windows Movie Maker. I still use Windows Movie Maker for my videos, and uh, so that opening sequence, if you go and watch the video, uh, that was all done by my brother and I, and him kind of walking me through it, which I was pretty proud of once I had it done. And so, uh, after my senior year, right before um, uh, I came to college, which is where I'm at right now, um, I, I started filming book reviews because as many YouTubers decided to, or as many YouTubers told their viewers um, throughout their videos, whenever they were asked how to succeed on YouTube, how to do well on YouTube, they always said more or less the same thing, do what you love and be consistent uh, and various things like that. And so I took that to heart. I did what I loved at the time and still right now, I love books. Um, so I figured, well, video games won't work because I don't have the adapter. I can't just take the footage, copy my voice over and do any of that fancy stuff because I don't have the money for the equipment. So I just did book reviews and uh, for the first year of college, that's all I did. Um, I would read a lot over the summer and over winter break. I was really lucky in my freshman year because I read a lot of books in class, um, so I could just review those and those would give me videos to upload. Uh, and then for a few months, uh, my videos weren't doing very well. They're, they're still don't do very well on average, but uh, most of them were getting like maybe nine views or something, nine, 15 views, something like that. Uh, it's very discouraging. And so I stopped for a few months and uh, then I had a comment of someone, I don't remember who exactly, but they basically commented on, I think it must have been the last video that I uploaded at that time, uh, saying, don't stop, these these are really good, um, they're very unique, and uh, I wanted to see more, and so that got the ball rolling again. I had a few videos that I hadn't edited yet, um, that I figured I wouldn't, I would not end up editing, uh, so I went up, I went back, edited one, and just started releasing them again on Sundays, I think, because of that's when I was working uh, at the library, and so I would have time to upload it at that time, um, and it was a good point about doing it. So yeah, then, this last summer, uh, I, as you saw, if you've seen my videos, I read Game of Thrones, I read Hunger Games, I read the Millennium Trilogy, uh, I read Walking Dead, 
all that stuff, which I loved, and it got me videos. I spent a lot of my summertime reading, uh, just so I could get those uploads or get those videos, um, and so that I could release them uh, throughout my fall semester. This semester, which is where we're at now, <laughs> I didn't. I got maybe three books read, three or four books read over my winter break because it was about a week and a half long. Um, so I couldn't really get a whole lot done, which was unfortunate. And so I thought to myself, uh, what else can I do? Because I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for a few months without any content. Uh, because I know what happens when that happens when you don't release content. And so I had filmed uh, earlier in the summer some video game reviews. I had filmed uh, one on The Darkness 2. I filmed the one on uh, Final Fantasy 13 2. And, uh, so I thought, hey, why not I'll edit those, put them out, see what the reception is. It was still... What? Really? You're making the noise for that? And so yeah, I, felt I edited those, put them out, saw what the reception was. It was still essentially the same reception as the book reviews. But it gave me another option as for stuff to put out and videos to uh, keep going. And so that kind of created the current schedule that I'm on right now. So essentially the order right now is uh, I do a book review, I do a movie review, I do a video game review, and then I do a TV show review. So I get one of each type of review out a month. I film essentially all the videos well in advance so that I can edit them uh, and that edit them ahead of time, put them out when they need to go out, and uh, I can stay consistent with the schedule. If I put out all the videos that I have currently <laughs> uh, available to upload right now, um, <laughs> I would not be able to get out content that fast, I and mean, it, it, ju it just wouldn't work well. Over the summer, um, uh, in actually about four weeks, I'll be in Turkey for a week, or ten days, um, for a concert slash jazz band trip, and unless I happen to be in good Wi-Fi range and have access to YouTube on the Sunday that I'm there, uh, you guys probably won't see a video that week. I might upload to the next Saturday or the next Sunday to make up for it, but I might not. I don't know. Um, it'll just depend. I've also started doing kind of instant reviews, as you've seen with the Assassin's Creed, uh, if you're interested in Washington reviews, they kind of just show up very quickly after the content is released. And uh, I'm going to be doing that with the TV shows as well. Tonight was the uh, Walking Dead Season 3 finale, I'm going to watch that and then review it and edit it and probably get it up tomorrow, and that would be Monday. And so, yeah, that will go with eventually Doctor Who Season 7. Castle, How I Met Your Mother, a bunch of different shows that I watch. And, um, yeah, another thing I kind of want to do, uh, if you guys are interested, is uh, do kind of a Q&A type of thing. So, um, if you guys have, because I've seen uh, people that I watch um, do these types of things. I've seen Bill Franco doing it, I've seen Sourceman doing it, I've seen Toad Buskis doing it. Um, just a load of people that I've watched for a long period of time now. And it, it seems like a fun thing to do and be interesting. So if you guys have any questions about me specifically or anything that you want to know, um, leave it in the comments or message me or something to get into contact with me. And if I get enough questions uh, from people, I would probably do a video on that. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. I, main thing I want to get across right here is uh, thank you guys for subscribing to me it means a lot um and uh you have no idea how much i appreciate it so um yeah <sighs> sorry if that was kind of a lot <laughs> but yeah it's cool it's cool that people are watching my stuff and enjoying it so, yeah tomorrow you'll see the walking dead season three review and um the following sunday you will see fahrenheit 45 yeah, as always, if you are not a subscriber, like, favorite, comment, or subscribe if you so choose. I'd appreciate that immensely. And uh, until um, subscriber 100 happens, I will see you guys later. And as always, my good people, keep on watching.